For years, we've heard the term sick building syndrome, but the building isn't sick, the people are. The building is polluted. Often in closed buildings, the indoor air is more polluted than the outdoor air. High volume copy machines spew out solvents in their printing ink. Wallboard and carpeting can emit formaldehyde. Fragrances from personal care products can contain ethanol, acetaldehyde, and chloromethane. Bacteria and mold give off poisonous chemicals that can become airborne. All these things can circulate and recirculate through the building's heating and cooling system. What do these indoor chemicals cause? Headaches, breathing problems, chest tightness, difficulty concentrating, eye, nose, and throat irritation, and nausea, to name a few. If you get sick when entering a building, try to determine the chemical exposures that are causing you trouble. The elimination of as many toxic chemicals as possible may help relieve your symptoms. I'm Dr. Adrienne Sprouse, and this is your Environmental Minute.